Fishnet Bible Stories proudly presents Abraham's Family Tree Abraham was a friend of the one true God. This is the story of Abraham's family tree. Abraham had many descendants, as you will see. Abraham was married to Sarah. She was his first wife. They didn't have any children, even though they were very old. So Sarah asked Hagar, her slave girl, to become Abraham's wife. Hagar bore Ishmael, who was strong and bold. But Sarah and Hagar would fight, and this brought strife. Finally, Sarah bore Abraham a son, and Isaac was his name. Hagar and Ishmael were jealous, and nothing was ever the same. Abraham gave Isaac a party, and Ishmael bossed Isaac around. Hagar and Ishmael were sent away, and to the desert they were bound. Isaac was the son of promise, the son of Abraham's old age. Abraham and Isaac loved each other all their days. After Sarah died, Abraham married Keturah and began a new page. They had six sons together. His family was increased. He gave those sons wonderful gifts and sent them east. When Isaac was 40 years old, he married Rebekah. But something was amiss. Isaac prayed for Rebekah to have a baby. This was a great ordeal. Twin boys were fighting in her womb, something she could not dismiss. Esau was born first, even though Jacob grabbed his heel. Esau moved to the land of Edom and became the father of the Edomites. His tribe enlarged and became famous in their own right. Jacob had 12 sons, and Joseph was the son of his old age. Joseph was his favorite, but his brothers were jealous and became enraged. Thanks for watching. This was part one of Joseph and his brothers' story in our Genesis series. Check out our website, fishnetbiblestories.com, to go back through our other Genesis videos that cover creation through the Tower of Babel, Abraham and Sarah, and Jacob and Esau. All those videos have accompanying slideshows, coloring sheets, and lesson plans that are free for nonprofit use. Have a great day. Bye!